welcome, welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. It is... You know, I feel the same way about being with you right now. And I don't want to be alone right now because I got something to say. Listen, if you're on a low-carb diet, you're in luck. Because there ain't no way to sugarcoat this. <laughs> Today, Justice Anthony Kennedy announced he's retiring from the Supreme Court. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but you're only 81. <laughs> you know, they say, they say 81 is the new 79. <laughs> <laughs> and don't tell me your mind's going, because I read Bush v. Gore and Citizens United. You never had one. Oh! This is a seismic political event, because Kennedy has been the decisive vote in many cases, and his retirement gives Trump the opportunity to fundamentally change the course of the Supreme Court. And I would not trust Trump to fundamentally change the dessert course. <laughs> oh, we are supremely screwed. I look forward to Wolf Blitzer in 2021. In the end, this Supreme Court case will be decided by the swing vote, Justice Meat Loaf. <laughs> and this could have, this could have huge repercussions. Think about it. The court that just this week crippled unions, upheld Trump's Muslim ban, and race-based gerrymandering might turn conservative. <laughs> Now, in a letter to President Trump, Justice Kennedy wrote, this letter is a respectful and formal notification of my decision, effective July 31st of this year, to end my regular active status as an associate justice of the Supreme Court. Okay, effective July 31st. So enjoy your gay marriages now, because <laughs> as of August 1st, you're back to being roommates. <laughs> yeah, and this could happen fast. Reportedly, the White House will push for a nomination and confirmation before the midterms. Well, of course, before the midterms. Just like you want to eat all the weed before the cop walks up to the driver's side window. <laughs> Quick, get him in there. Get him in the cart. They're coming. Get him in the cart. Now, why would he? Why would he want? Why would he want to do it before the midterms? That red wave is coming. Trump spoke to reporters about it today, and he teased who might get the big job. We have, uh, obviously, uh, numerous people. We have a list. Uh, we have a, a very uh, excellent list. I think the list is very outstanding. So get ready for Supreme Court Justice list. <laughs> then again, then again, I could see Trump appointing Giuliani just to keep him off television. <laughs> now... You may recall that the Republicans got their 5-4 majority on the court because Mitch McConnell refused to let the Senate vote on Obama's nominee, Merrick Garland. Yes, that upset. A, a, a little late, but yes, that like that. <laughs> that upset a lot of people, but Mitch McConnell is willing to take the high road and forget he ever did it. Because here's what he said today. It's imperative that the president's nominee be considered fairly. Oh, really? That's like Typhoid Mary saying, read the sign, guys, all employees must wash hands. <laughs> but there was some good legal news yesterday when a federal judge ordered the Trump administration to reunite separated migrant families. <laughs> yeah, I'll jump in there. Okay, sure. I'll jump in there, yes. That's good. Okay, sure. That's good. I applaud this judge for this ruling, but it's a little sad that this is what counts as good news. Good news used to be, we got Bin Laden. Now it's, we got Trump to release the kidnapped children, <laughs> and there's a chance he might do it. <laughs> the judge did not mince any words in his decision. He called the family separation crisis a chaotic circumstance of the government's own making, which is also the very worst Lemony Snicket book. <laughs> the judge instructed that nearly all children younger than five be returned to their parents within 14 days, and that older children be returned within 30 days. Yes, so important. Five-year-olds have got to be with their parents as quickly as possible. But six-year-olds, they can take it. Yeah. Come on, six-year-olds know how this game is played. Yeah, he kidnaps know. children. Democrats give him his border wall. They respect the player. <laughs> I believe that's how you say it. Play. 
There is one problem with the judge telling the Trump administration to return the children. There is no formal process or clear protocol for tracking parents and children. What? <laughs> you took them away and you can't even track children? Domino's can track my pizza. <laughs> Let's have Domino's do it. <laughs> Why not? That would work. Here's, how we, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. We'll just order all of these kids a large meat lovers, <laughs> and the parents can then find them with their phones. I've got a perfect slogan. You'll get your child back in 30 minutes or you're free. 